Whether it stops, nobody knows. At 29 in the black. Oh. <laughs> that closes the book. There you are, sir. How do we stand now? We're still a loser. Let us play 200 on the first 12. Here we go again. Shoot the 50. Get your bets down, folks. Five on the line. 50 on the field. Uh, Your Honor, she's right. Everybody set? Sure. Oh, I'm shooting for a natural. I'm all... Oh, Baby needs ginger ale. Oh, Baby needs ginger ale. Baby needs ginger ale. Baby needs ginger ale. All bets down. That's 16 in the red and nobody there. That's the house number. Better luck next time. All right, bets down again. Here we go. All right, all bets down. All bets down. That's number five in the red. Now we've got a double. 400 on the second 12. Get your bets down, gentlemen. Get your bets down. Hello, Mr. Tracy. How are you? How are things going? Well, up to now, <laughs> not so good. You see, Jordan here has the system that I'm trying out. The only thing that keeps it from working is the house limit. Almost every time we should double, we run into it. Well, we'll raise the limit for you, Mr. Tracy. Mm, never mind. I'll play it this way a while. At least, <laughs> until I can convince Jordan that you can't beat any gambling game. Well, any time you want it raised, just let me know. Thank you. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. First race commences at the track in 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, get your bets down, get your bets down. I have a horse in there, third race. We'd better be getting it. All right. Will you uh, give me credit for those, please? There you are, Mr. Tracy. Thank you. All right, let's have a win now. Cash this for me. I'm going up to my room to change. Right. I'll come up and wait for you. Good. That's number 29 in the black. Oh, yes, sir. He lost 1,200, is that right? Right. That's 240 to me then, I'll take it in cash. Say, you ought to get the limit raised so you can make some real dough. Oh, I had Mason come over and offer to, but Tracy didn't fall for it. Still, as long as they're paying you 20% of what he loses, you've no kick coming. Not if I can take a couple of winners at the track today. That's easy. I used to pick them myself. The only trouble was they wouldn't stay picked. Tracy's running a horse in the third race. If he plunges on it, I'm going to follow along with a couple of hundred myself. Let's hope the horse runs more true to form than your system. Soft pedal that stuff, will you? Sure. It's none of my business if they want to hire somebody to trim their guests. Come in. Jordan, be with you in a minute. All right, no hurry. Ah, I can't help admiring your daughter's photograph. She's a wonderful girl, Jordan. Perhaps a bit too much like her father, a little reckless and fond of a good time, but she's a hundred percent all the way through. Does she intend joining you here? Oh, she's at finishing school. Is, uh, is this what I have left? Eight hundred. <laughs> I'll play it on my horse. Good. He might win. I was thinking of placing a little bet myself. What do you think his chances are? Well, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know anything about horses. I took over Foster's string for a debt. I know, he lost his money in the market crash. Yes, and insisted upon my taking his horses. It was all he had left. Quite a step down the world for him working for somebody else. Well, I persuaded him to stay on till I could get someone to handle them for me. Well, guess we better be going. Oh, well, uh, we'll drop in on Foster <laughs> and find out uh, what our chances are. Good idea. Well, we're 
Where do you think you're going, Sheila Tracy? I'm going to the telegraph office. Oh, was something wrong? Oh, no. I just received a letter from Daddy, and he has a horse running in the third race. So I thought I'd go down and send him a wire and wish him luck. Want to come along with me? Surely. I think I'll get him to place a bet for me. Then we'll have a marvelous party with my winnings. But the horse hasn't won yet. Oh, but he will. Let's go. Come All on. right. Hi, Mr. Foster. Hello, Sandy. How do you feel? Oh, just fine. That's good. Oh, say, he looks great. You suppose we can bring Tracy a winner? Well, I'll do my best, Mr. Foster. I know you will. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Jordan. Hi, Foster. All right. Are we going to win today? Just talking to Sandy. He says he'll do all he can. <laughs> well, that ought to be pretty good. There's something I must tell you, Foster. I think it's fine of you to stay here and look out to these horses for me. Well, I think it's mighty nice of you to want me to stay. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Let's go over to the clubhouse. This is quite a change from your last couple of seasons down here, Foster. You were stepping high, wide, and handsome then. Working for a living is not so bad. You ought to try it sometime. Meaning what? Oh, nothing. Or most anything. Somebody's gonna smack him down one of these days. And if they ever hold an election for the office, you vote for me, will you? I want to run for that office myself. <laughs> Everything okay, Thompson? Everything's okay, Mr. Foster. What's our alibi if we lose? A better horse won. That's good. <laughs> Come on, Sandy, we better get going. Yes, sir. Good luck, kid. Thanks. Here we are, plenty of time. Good afternoon, Mr. Tracy. How do you do? Mr. Tracy, do you think your horse will win today? Well, I'm betting on him. Well, if you're betting on him, I think I can take a chance then, too. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Tracy. How are you? Just put a bet on your horse. Hope you win. So, too. You're needed. Oh, well, well, well. Harry. Oh, hello, Come here, Mr. Minister. Well, here we are. Ten to one to win, four to play. Pretty good on? Very good if we win. Looks like a big day. Pretty good. I think he's ready. He has no competition in this race to speak of. Well, I hope you're right. Sorry you lost, Jordan. Oh, I only had a couple of hundred on him.
Well, if you get your system working at roulette tonight, <laughs> maybe we can win it back. Sorry, Tracy. I guess the distance was a little too much for him. Oh, if I ever won a race, I wouldn't know how to act. <laughs> Oh, uh, what about that big horse we have down there, Lightning? I think he's the fastest thing on the track, but we haven't been able to handle him. He's thrown Sandy a couple of times, and the last two races we entered him in, he was left at the post. Suppose I drop down tomorrow and we look him over. All right. I'll have Thompson give my workout tonight. Well, I'll be down right after breakfast. Uh, you know, my daughter plans to spend her vacation with me, and <laughs> I would like to show her a winner. Well, we'll try and have one. <laughs> All right, see you in the morning, then. Goodbye. Come on, Jordan. I don't suppose you bet anything. It depends on how you get your money, if you can afford to bet it. Telegram, Mr. Tracy. Oh, thank you. Well, here you are. Thank you, sir. It's from Sheila. No? I just found out, Jordan, why women make the best gamblers. <laughs> they never consider a possibility of losing. <laughs> no, not in anything. No. <laughs> What do we do today? Well, what do we usually do? Follow the leader. Well, who's going to be the leader? Well, who is always the leader? Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Think you can do what you did yesterday? Sure. All right, I have a new one for you. Miss Tracy. Yes, ma'am. A telegram for you. All right. <laughs> You've just spoiled what promised to be the greatest dive in the history of dear old Stuart. I'd advise you not to get that bathing suit wet. It might shrink. I'll do my best. It's a wire from John sending me my winning. Here's where we have a big celebration. How much did you win? Did he really pay for that for you? Oh, I was too late. But not losing anything is just the same as winning. So we'll celebrate anyway. Come on, girls. I know a place where they weaken the ginger ale so that it doesn't make us too dizzy. <laughs> we can't go in our bathing suit. Why not? We have no place to put our driver's license. Oh, the cops won't pinch us. Oh, come on, girls. The last one to the car has to drink water. Oh, all uh, right. Tracy. Hello, Foster. Well, I was lightning this morning. I just yeah. came back from the hospital. We tried to give lightning a workout, and Sandy got the worst of it. Nothing serious, I hope. No, just scratched up a bit. Well, that's too bad. Suppose you bring lightning out, and let's have a look at him. i better get Thompson. He's about the only one that can handle him. I'll only be two minutes. All right. I guess you better get my over to the hotel. Take a hold of him, Gordon. Let's go to the hotel. Oh, he's over there, like him. Come! Oh, 
That'll be all right, Doctor. Why, of course. You just rest up a while. You need pretty good care. I'll have a nurse sent up. How is he, Doc? He's very badly hurt. You'd better send for his daughter. Is it that serious? His chest is crushed and he's bleeding internally. It's just a question of time. It might be a couple of days, a week. I can't tell. You mean there's no chance for him? None. I think if I were you, I'd tell him I was sending for her. All right. I'll get the best nurse to be had. Thanks, Doc. John, the doctor thinks I'd better send for your daughter. Is it that bad? Oh, no. He thinks that you'd feel better if she were here. I suppose he told you that I was about done for, huh? Well, you're... you're pretty badly hurt. I guess there's no use dodging things. After all, Everything's a gamble. I've always taken my losses with a smile. <coughs> Life is the biggest gamble of all. And if I'm going to lose for the last time, I guess I should be ready and prepare for it. Why are her? Stewart Hall, seminary for girls. I'll, I'll get a message right off. Miss Tracy, here's a telegram. It just came. Oh, thanks. Well, you better go at once. I'll help you to pack and get your reservation. I'm not bothering to pack if John's hurt. Phone the airport for a plane. Then tell him I'm coming. And send there for my car, will you? How is he? He's sleeping a little just now. If his daughter expects to see him, she'd better be here before night. The school wired me she'd left by plane. Oh, that's fine. Do you mind if I have my lunch now? Not at all. I'll stay with Mr. Tracy. Thank you. Miss Tracy? Yes. I'm Bill Foster. I wired you at school. 
How's John? Well, he's sleeping just now. The nurse has just gone out for lunch. He's in there. Thanks. Hello, Pie Face. Hello, John. I guess it's quite a surprise, Saul, for you to find me like this. Huh? I'll just be grateful if you aren't badly hurt. Well, I suppose it could be worse. And when'd you get in? Just now. Grab the plane the minute I got the wire. <laughs> I guess you'd better get a room and have some lunch. Come back and we'll have a talk. Will you finish that nap I interrupted? Sure. All right. Then I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, pie face. He's going back to sleep while I get myself a room. I was afraid he'd be much worried. Miss Tracy, I, I don't like to be the one to tell you this. He's putting on a brave show for you. And that's about all it is. Just a show. You mean he's very badly hurt? Yes. You didn't give me a chance to get back to sleep. There's no use lying, John Fellow. Bill told me. You're quite a kid, Pie Face. I was going to tell you myself when you came back. Going to take it all right? As you want me to, John. Come over here and sit beside me. We've always understood each other pretty well, I think. Things like this must happen to all of us, sooner or later. But I'd be perfectly happy if it hadn't happened to me just yet. But after all, I guess I ought to be glad it's been delayed this long. I'm not going to give you a lot of advice, I think. You will go your way as I've gone mine. And I want you to. And I'm gone. I don't want any long faces of wearing a lot of black. Hmm. Don't make the mistake, I... I didn't hold a one person I really love, your mother. Remember, honey, love is about all that matters. There's nothing else without it. You may have to go through hell for it, but it'll be well worth it when you finally get it. You're a great kid, Pisces. I wonder, do you think you could get me a highball without the nurse knowing it? Of course, John. And if you don't mind, I'll join you in it. Fine, Pisces.
Gus and Andy. <laughs> you know, I, I was just wondering, did you tell Miss Sheila about that horse she played yesterday? No, but I'm going to see her today. Miss Sheila doesn't seem to take the loss of her father very seriously, does she? Oh, it isn't that. She's just a wild, reckless kid. I've tried to reason with her, but apparently she won't listen. <laughs> that system of Jordan's going to break her if she stays with it. I think I'll go up to the hotel now and have a talk with her. You know something? He's in love with her, and has been ever since he came here. If Miss Sheila knew it, it might make a difference. Now, well, something ought to happen. She sure has been running wild since her father died. Mm, three months ago today. I don't think she means anything by it. Just trying to forget. Hmm, maybe. I thought you were working. Did you ever play? Oh, I've had my turn at it. That's the reason I'm taking care of horses I used to own. And maybe if you join me, you'd bring me luck. I never brought myself any. The chances are against it. I'm certainly glad I start two horses tomorrow. Jordan's roulette system hasn't been going so well. Don't be too sure they're winning. They don't. It's going to cost me a lot of money. Uh, do you mind if I come down tomorrow and look them over before the race starts? Certainly not, if they're all are your horses. Well, if they don't start winning more often, I'll, I'll likely be taking care of them for somebody else. There we go again. Oh. I lost a couple of bets. We'll pay 70 now in the second 12. Something wrong? No. I was just thinking about something John said. You may have to go through hell for it, but it's well worth it when you finally get it. That's yeah, number six in the black. Oh, oh, no. That's right. You're bound to win if you play hard enough. That will double on the third 12. Oh. 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 They win. Who's going to win? I could it down. Got a chance? Right. Tell me, Sheila. I hope so. I just had enough to bet 5000 on you. Gosh, that, that's a lot of money, Miss Sheila. Only if you lose. Well, I'll, I'll try and win for you. Now, look here, Miss Tracy. You shouldn't have bet so much on this race. All of my friends call me Sheila. I don't think the horse is going to win. If I lose, I'll have a chance to win it back on the next race. We've had to scratch lightning. We can't break him from the chute. Didn't John want him put in a race? You can't put the horse in the race if you can't handle him. Perhaps I'd better come out here some morning and give him a workout. You stay away from that horse if you value your life. Ooh, after all, I believe you do like me. Well, as long as you ask for it, I'm going to tell you. I don't like you. I love you. Don't think I'm proposing to you, because I'm not. I'm just telling you. I'm giving a party tonight to celebrate the winning of the race today. Everyone thinks you ought to come. But I... It's going to be down at Alex. I'll take you in my car. I know, but... Awfully sweet of you, Mr. Foster. Eight o'clock, then. Hello. Hello.
idea of our coming down here, then? Oh, I just thought as long as you're alone that you might want to lecture to me on gambling and what happened. And what good would that do? Well, it might lead to arbitration and so forth. Listen here. We might as well get this straight right now. I have no intention of telling you how to live or what to do. I do know that you have the wrong viewpoint on certain things. And I am through trying to set you straight. Just gonna let a poor little girl suffer, I suppose. You know, the kind of a girl you should be is just the opposite of you. One round of parties, drinking, gambling, gambling on everything, horses, roulette, love, anything. That's one reason I didn't mind losing my money. I got away from that kind of girl. And just what kind of a girl could you go for in your big way? I'll tell you. Someone that had something to them. Someone that could come down to earth and see the real things in life. Someone that didn't have to have a different brand of excitement every hour on the 24. Someone that could live in a mud hole with me in a back alley, if that's all I had, and be happy. Is that all? No, but it's enough for right now, isn't it? Would you do that? I haven't quite reached the mud hole stage yet. When I do, I'll let you know. Say, uh, do you mind taking me down to the hotel? Sure. Hop in. Thanks. Times is sure changing, ain't they? Yeah. Get out. Miss Sheila down to look over the horses this morning. <laughs> She's too busy seeing how many kinds of a good time she can have. <laughs> she sure knows a lot of ways, doesn't she? Yeah. Somebody ought to give her a good spanking. Or marry her. And have her believe it was for her money. Oh, maybe... And maybe she's so much in love with you, she, she wouldn't even think about it. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many different kinds of thoughts that girl can have. Still, if, if I was in love with her, I... And in my position, you wouldn't let her know anything about it. Well, maybe... Maybe, Mr. Foster, you're... Maybe you're treating her the wrong way. Well, that is, I mean... Well, maybe you've been a little bit too harsh with it. Perhaps I have. After all, I guess it's the way she was brought up. Sure. That's it. You know, you know, you gotta you gotta change him gradually. You're right, Sandy. 
I'll have to make allowances. Dinner. And the casino afterward? Sure. You know, I've got to begin getting back part of my losses. <laughs> and if we get that system of mine working, we'll break the bank. And then will you marry me? Never can tell. Mr. Thompson? Yes, Miss Sheila. I saw you was lightning. Are you going to enter him in the handicap? I'm afraid not, Miss Sheila. We had him working out of the chute this afternoon, but didn't have much luck. Hasn't Sandy been riding him lately? Not since the last time he was thrown. Just between you and me, Thompson. He needs somebody to ride that mean streak out of him. Hey, Thompson. You'll excuse me, please. No, what's the matter with that, Jimmy, anyway? I don't know. How long has this been going on? Where is that boy, Jimmy, anyhow? I don't, I don't know. I've seen him around here. Well, look! She's a lightning! How is she, Doc? Just a few bruises, nothing serious. She's not seriously hurt. No, mostly just shaken up by the fall. That's fine. Come in. Look here, Miss Tracy, do you know what you've done? What? Well, you've likely ruined the best horse we have in the stable and your only chance of winning the handicap. Well, I didn't think you'd run away with me. You're paying me to handle those horses. I've given orders you're not to be allowed around there again. Well, they're my horses, aren't they? Take off your hat. All right, you take them and you race them. I'm sorry. Listen, if you go down there again, I'm through. All right, I won't go. Trouble with you is you have too much freedom and too much money. Well, I was willing to give up one of them, but you, oh, what's the use? Well, I'd like to take both of them away from you, but that's just it. What's the use? Down. 
12. That's number 12 in the ring. We play the ring. We win. Just like your system's okay. Yeah, Goodbye, Bob. Here we go again. Get your bets down. Now double up on 14. Here we go again. Oh, that's down. Here we go. Well, that's number 14 in the red. Coming back. Back with it. We're going to break your bank this time. And how? Very well, Miss Tracy. Good luck to you. Now we'll play another combination. Here we go once more. All five. Down. Let's go now. Thirteen. Oh, hello, Mr. Foster. We've been looking all over for you. What's happened? We've been giving lightning a workout. He's all right. It seems like that running away he done has taken all the nervousness out of his system. Why, well, say, he cuddles that chute like a kitten to a hot stove. Say, that is good news. We can start him in the handicap. What do you think, Sandy? Well, I took him around the track a couple of times and nothing. Great. I'm going up and tell Miss Tracy, then I'll come down to the clubhouse and enter him. That's 25 in the red. That gentleman is yeah. 25 dollars. What's wrong? What's wrong? We'd better go back to our original combination. Double up on 12. All right, let's do it. Here we go again. Better luck next time, Miss Tracy. And that is number again. seven. And nobody there. Right again. One to eighteen for a grand comeback. All right, let's All go. All right, get your bets down. We're going again. Everybody down. And that's thirty-one in the black. That's the second eighteen. I'm sorry, Miss Tracy. Well, let's throw it a night. Better luck next time. All right, let's get going again. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go down to Alex. I'll get the crowd. That's a great idea. Let's Good. go. You know, that was Sheila Tracy. She lost several thousand at roulette tonight. Any woman that gambles like that ought to have her money taken away from her. Meaning what? Oh, I beg your pardon, my dear. <laughs> Is it my play now? Uh, yes, sir. But, uh, Hey, how about not picking up any of the crowd? Just you and I going alone. Oh, I've changed my mind about going anyway. What do you mean? You don't want to go with me alone? No, it's not bad. It's just that suddenly I don't feel like going. Now look here, Sheila. There's no use us beating about the bush anymore. You know I love you, and I want you to marry me. Instead of going to Alex, let's jump in the car and go and look up the minute. You mean to elope? Yes. You could throw a few things in the bag, and by morning we could be in some little town and be married. What do you say? No, uh, not tonight, anyway. Tomorrow, then. Is it a go? Not as soon as that, even if I decide to. But you're going to decide to, aren't you? I don't know. Perhaps I'd better start thinking things over before doing them. Then I'll call you first thing in the morning. When I make up my mind, I'll let you know. Good night. Good night. Ten to one. I played it all straight. The whole six thousand? Right on his nose. He can't lose. And that means sixty thousand dollars to you. Woo. If lightning wins, those natives will go around in a daze. But I'm more interested in when you're going to marry me. Well, not before the race, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, come here. Boy, you better win. I just put the whole bankroll on you. Well, 
You better tell the banks to stay open until after the race so they can stick in those winnings. Add up, boy. Say, go take a look at Lightning. He looks great. Okay. He better be. Well, eight to one was the best I could get. Well, that's not bad. Oh, I'd have gotten more than that, only somebody laid a big bet on him to win. Six thousand. Six thousand. Sheila. And Lightning is sure to win. If he does, that'll be her finish. I'd give anything, anything, if he would lose. You love her, don't you, Bill? Yes, I do. And I think if she loses, it'll make a different girl out of her. This is one race, and if I lose, I win. up that barrier. Oh. There they go. Oh, he's pretty as me, eh? Hey, a beautiful horse. Look at him cut like shoot. Oh, I'll tell you. Oh, he's say, great. there's a horse. He's behaving, too. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on, look, look, look. Are you getting too close to the rail? And it's him. It looks like it. Oh, yeah. Look at that old lightning. It's looking like a straight line. I know. I've got a reason why. There doesn't seem to be any doubt about it. I'm glad she's lost. Glad? Sure. It'll give me a chance to say some things I've been wanting to say. Couldn't you have said it without all this? No, Thompson. I'm going to ask her to marry me. Ma well, that'll be the best thing for both of you. Thanks. Did you send for me? Yes. What was the big idea in having Sandy pull lightning? Sandy didn't pull lightning. He was pocketed and he couldn't get out. And if you want to know the truth, I'm glad it happened. What do you mean? Might stop your gambling and bring you down to earth. And just what good is that going to do you? If you do get down to earth, where I can talk to you, maybe I'll ask you to marry me. And are you asking me to marry you? Yes. Hmm. I suppose you have a nice mud hole picked out someplace for us. Exactly. Well, you can hang up a red sign on it because we won't be using it.
Will you please page Mr. Jordan and have him come up to my apartment right away, please? Here I am. Fine. You asked me to elope with you, and I've made up my mind. Gee, that's great. I knew you would. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. But don't you think I'd better pack a few things? I want to go now. You can have your things set on. Now the car is right outside. Well, come on, let's, let's go. Give me the small one, that's it. The head up. Come on, hurry up. Don't you think we ought to have dinner first? I thought when people eloped, they thought of love and not of food. I'll stop at Alex if you can wait that long. Very well, sir. Well, for a person who can hardly leave the hotel without food, you seem to have recovered quickly. Maybe we'd better talk this thing over. What do you mean? Just what was the idea behind your sudden decision to elope with me? And what has that got to do with it? Only this. You gambled and lost. Not only your money, but Foster with whom you're in love. Well, of course, I wouldn't want to lead an unwilling bridegroom to the altar if you don't want to marry I me. thought perhaps we might arrange to leave the altar part out of it. Well, it's just as well you didn't bother to pack any of your things, say unpacking them. Don't pretend to get insulted. You've got it coming to you. You gambled everything. Money, position, love. Why should you be above this last gamble? Let me buy. A real gambler never, won't you? Let me go. Hey, wait up. What are you buttoning here? There's a lot of truth in what he said. You better go back to the hotel and think it over. I started out to a hope, and I'm going to. With whom? With you. 
Me. But but I have nothing to offer you. I don't care. How about that mud hole I was telling you about? It's all right by me. 